Our other top story this morning, University of Michigan President Mark Schlissel is out. The university's Board of Regents made the decision during a closed door meeting yesterday. The move comes after an investigation into possible misconduct. Our Megan Woods has more on the shocking new developments. The Board of Regents said this investigation started in December. They received a tip saying that the former university president was in a alleged relationship with a subordinate. Their investigation found that he was actually using his university email account to have this communication with that employee. And the announcement is sparking several different conversations among students. I was not terribly surprised. Uh, but definitely disappointed. I was kind of in shock that he would like use his like own like, professional account. It's all University of Michigan students are talking about on a Saturday night. We first saw it all over social media when we were at a dinner, and then we all got like an email like a few minutes later. We saw everything. Everything as in the why. U of M Board of Regents say after receiving information about an alleged sexual affair with a subordinate, they determined those interactions were inconsistent with promoting dignity and reputation of the university. A released 118 page document of Schlissel's communication with that employee includes an email he sent writing, quote, just for fun end quote, and attached a New Yorker article titled Sexual Fantasies of Everyday New Yorkers. In another email in reference to a basketball game and seating assignments, Schlissel writes, quote, the only reason I agreed to go was to go with you, end quote. It's not right to be using your professional platform and accounts to be sending these emails and also to pursue a relationship uh, as president, like with another individual working, as it could be like a conflict of interest. Students say they support the Board of Regents taking action on top of so many other issues. And we're all just like so appalled about the whole situation. Like it's just so ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Because of all the claims that happened like earlier about sexual assault and now just like this on top of it. It's just, it's just awful on him. Dr. Schlesel became university president in 2014. He was talking about stepping down in 2023. As for what's next, there is an interim president and the Board of Regents has to meet next month to affirm their decision. In Ann Arbor, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. And former University of Pre Michigan President Mary Sue Coleman is now interim president. She held the post at U of M from 20 2002 to 2014. She was the first woman appointed as the university's president. After retiring from U of M, she served as president of the Association of American Universities in Washington, D.C. Coleman also served as president at the University of Iowa for seven years back in 1995.